Airbus helicopters could offer the H-175 Super Medium Twin to the United Kingdom, as a replacement for the Royal Air Force's fleet of Puma utility helicopters in 2025, despite the fact that no military variant of the 8T rotorcraft exists. Airbus Helicopters insists it can overcome obstacles related to Chinese content on its H-175, should the Super Medium Twin be offered as a replacement for the United Kingdom Royal Air Force's Puma fleet. In fact, Airbus Helicopters has consistently said that it was prevented from developing a military version due its partnership agreement with China on the program. However, Jerome Coombe, head of product policy and strategy at the Airframer, told the Royal Aeronautical Society's Next Generation Rotorcraft Conference on 21 January that it could offer several alternatives as a Puma replacement, such as the H225M and NH Industries NH90, or the H175. China's Avocopter has been a partner on the program since its launch in 2005. It supplies components to the H-175, including fuselage parts, but also builds its own version, the AC-352, which is powered by Safran Ardiden 3C engines. But Colin James, Managing Director of Airbus Helicopters United Kingdom, says the company would have no difficulty in providing a military version without the Chinese content. While declining to reveal the precise details of the plans, James says, we have a viable solution and we know how we would do it. It is very feasible and there are scenarios for providing that aircraft without that problem, he says. He also notes that the current civil version of the H-175 already has 10% to 15% of United Kingdom content. Although in many quarters the new medium helicopter contest is seen as Leonardo helicopters to lose, James insists that as the incumbent, Airbus Helicopters does not feel it is the underdog. Airbus has a very, very good record of bringing export success to the United Kingdom, he says. Everything our competitors have to offer, Airbus also has to offer, and more. Airbus Helicopters declines to comment on how it would sidestep limitations relating to a military variant. However, one solution could be to substitute Chinese content on the helicopter. In its recent command paper defense review document, London announced that it intends to withdraw the Puma from service in the mid-2020s, replacing it with a platform it calls the new medium helicopter. Airbus helicopters delivered a significant mid-life upgrade to the Puma fleet in the early part of last decade, adding new engines and avionics, which could have seen the platform operated into the 2030s. While James says he is disappointed by the retirement decision, he understands the strategic rationale for the move as the United Kingdom eyes a next-generation capability in the 2040s. No details of the requirements for the new medium helicopter have so far been revealed, although a team has been stood up within the Ministry of Defense to work on its plans. Although the Puma is due to depart by mid-decade, James questions the realism of that, noting the time it takes to get a new aircraft into service. He believes that once the procurement process begins and sanity checks start being made, 2027-2028 will emerge as a more realistic time frame for the Puma's departure unless a capability gap can be tolerated. While Airbus Helicopters United Kingdom is located at Oxford Airport, expansion of the site may not be required to house an assembly line for the new medium helicopter, as the wider Airbus group has a lot of real estate in the United Kingdom. Whatever solution we would employ would be to create sustainability and future business, he says, including the production of helicopters for the export market. And while final assembly is one aspect of the process, bolstering the level of United Kingdom content on the H-175 is also key, he stresses. An Airbus Helicopters spokesman says, Airbus Helicopters looks forward to addressing the UK's future medium helicopter requirements as they take shape and we are confident that we can offer attractive solutions which will both fully meet the armed forces operational needs and contribute to a strong national prosperity agenda. Airbus has an established, substantial and world-class design and manufacturing footprint in the UK and we have never been averse to the implementation of a helicopter final assembly line where it makes commercial sense for the worldwide market. As part of its unsuccessful bid to sell search and rescue rolled H-175s to competitors for the United Kingdom search and rescue privatisation last decade, 
Airbus helicopters offered a degree of industrial participation in the programme. Under that initiative it promised to turn its Aberdeen, Scotland site into a search and rescue centre of excellence, providing training and modification work for all search and rescue configured H-175s. At present the Puma has an out-of-service date of 2025, but Airbus Helicopters says it could support the type up to 2035, potentially aligning its departure with the arrival of a next-generation platform. No military variant of the H-175 has so far been developed, in part due to restrictions related to substantial Chinese involvement on the civil program, which is a joint development with Avocopter.